10 millimeter bolts on that uh, that go right there and down right here. I gotta pull this straight off the, the filter. Okay, it's so tight that my hand's probably gonna block it. I'm going to start wiggling, see if I can get that hose off. This is working, I take a flat head. It's not really a hose, it's more like a solid a pipe. But this, uh, I just I'm working it out. like an o-ring right there. That holds it in there. There we go. So it's more like a pipe. That you can... Okay, there we go. Okay, then I gotta take that. Let's see if I can get that bolt off. That bolt right there, and uh, and oh, see if I can show it. That bolt right there. They're probably a 10 millimeter also. To get this bracket off, this bracket right here that's blocking the filter that's right there. But I gotta get this bracket off. And that bracket right there. All right, this is what I did is I left the far bolt on and just swung, swung the bracket out of the way. So it's right here, just loose loose on, uh, on that one bolt and uh, I completely removed the one that goes right here so now I have access in and here's that pipe but the filter is right here but see how there's a nut on it so I just gotta get on that nut and back this filter out so I can replace it uh, with a new one. But there is an O-ring right there that seals up against this and I'm hoping it's okay. Uh, that it has a good seal. Okay, so I'm gonna put a socket or, so or a wrench right there to back the filter out. 
But I, I left, I didn't even have to remove this bottom tray with the battery sets on it. Uh, so. Alright, well, I uh, put some cloth underneath that. This here so that uh, when I back the filter out, it doesn't make a mess of the engine. Alright, so 24 millimeter is what uh, fits on this nut. And I cracked her loose, so now it's just uh, hand tight. So it should turn it. See what kind of. mess it makes. I'm trying to get the cloth over all of it. It might be at the end of the thread and it's just, it's, nope, there we go. There we go. There she is. There she is. It's like giving birth here. Oh, there's not really that much uh, oil in here. There's that little guy. The filter doesn't really hold that much, really. It looks like it's maybe just a third of a cup, or maybe a half a cup. Well, that's not really that much. You can see the reflection of my Scooby-Doo cellular apparatus. So now the next step would be uh, to pull the plug on the bottom and drain the bulk of the oil. Yep. Well, anyhow, there's the plug here on the bottom of the car. And uh, a, a 3.8 uh, drive ratchet fits on there. It just fits right in that hole there. So, I'll go ahead and see if she cracks loose. Okay, I'm uh, draining it, but the plug, to get it loose, I had to use a lot of leverage. Basically, a 3-8 shaft fits on the plug, but it was torqued down so hard that I had to use... I had to use this. Oh, you know what I used actually? I used a big, a big pipe that I stuck on the 3 8 ratchet handle to get a loose. It was torqued down so hard. But here's the, here's the plug. And the amount, I'll, I'll measure it out because I want to replace it with the exact amount that came out. It's almost to the top of this uh, catch pan. So it's almost at the top. What I just noticed, this is magnetized probably to catch metal particles from my gear wear. But check this out.
Oh wait, it's making a liar out. Oh, you know it's this, this side probably. I see that. It's magnetized to catch metal particles. Okay, I, at O'Reilly's I bought this uh, pump and the tube is the perfect size to go into where the dipstick hole is. So I just start pumping it. Oh yeah, and the, the amount of transmission oil that came out was exactly four quarts because I spilled a little on the floor. So it comes out four quarts or to a gallon. And if I add up the little bit that I got on the floor in the engine, it comes out really close to four quarts.